Hey guys, so welcome to today's vlog. Um, it is definitely the next day and currently, let's see what time it is. It is 2.38 p.m. in the afternoon and yes, I am barely getting ready. So today we are basically going to hang out, lay low, chill out. I'm just kidding, I actually have a lot to do. Um, I am going to do a get ready with me really quickly um, to show you guys the look that I did yesterday. It was requested by a subscriber, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I created that look in a minute. And then also I'm going to make um, stir fry, uh, vegetable and tofu stir fry for a dinner. So I will show you how I make that. And it is really, gloomy outside. It looks like it's going to rain. Um, I think there is actually rain on the Doppler. <laughs> um, so official. Um, for today or tomorrow, so I'm not too sure if it's going to rain um, at all. But yeah, it's super gloomy, so if the lighting is off or whatever as I'm doing my makeup, Sorry about that. I know I just purchased lights, but this is a vlog. It's totally informal. I'm just showing you guys how I did my makeup yesterday. So quick, easy, and yeah. All right guys, so we are gonna go ahead and get started. This is pretty much the look that I did yesterday. So I'm gonna start off with my lip balm. This is my all time favorite. It's just the EOS or EOS lip balm in the pink and I'm just gonna put a little bit all over my lips just to prep them and make sure they're hydrated all day. The foundation we're gonna use is my Chanel Les Beiges. If you're wondering, I am in the N40 color. Um, it's a little bit light for me right now, but um, I could just do a little bronzer and we should be fine. So I do like maybe two or three pumps and then I just pretty much dot it everywhere. And as you guys can see, my skin is in nowhere near perfect right now. Like my skin went through so much um, breaking out. So I'm just gonna use my damped beauty blender and we're gonna just start applying this foundation all over. I don't think I have a review on this foundation, but I have been using this foundation for quite some time. So if you guys are wanting a full product review on this particular foundation, I can totally do that for you. Okay, so now that I look like a pale ghost, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Bobbi Brown, what is this? It's my retouching face pencil in the color medium to dark. And basically I'm just gonna go around um, my face to add a little bit more coverage. Because as you can see, I have some blemishes and some scarring left over from past acne. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that with this. You can even use this as concealer. Truthfully honest, guys, I'm using my beauty blender. But this is best applied with your fingers just because it's super, super matte. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my corrector. This is by Bobbi Brown in the color peach. I just freaking love this corrector just because it helps to brighten my under eyes and it helps to cover up any dark circles. Because I know I have some dark circles underneath my eyes. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do is add powder. I'm using my Chanel, uh, what is this, Natural Finish Press Powder in the color 30 Natural. So that's what it looks like. And don't worry guys, I'm not going to look this pale, I promise you. After we put bronzer, I'm going to look so much better. <laughs> so I'm just putting a little bit of powder everywhere just to set everything. Okay, and then I'm also going in with my Laura Mercier, what is this? This is a loose sitting powder in the translucent color. This is the world famous Laura Mercier setting powder. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of tap off the excess and just apply it everywhere, especially underneath my eyes. 
where I have applied um, the concealer or the corrector. Okay, now that I look completely crazy, we're going to go ahead and add my favorite part, which is my bronzer. And this bronzer is the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in the color Stone Street. Um, in case you guys are wondering what that looks like, it looks like this. So basically, we're just going to apply some on the cheekbones. And then on the forehead, of course. So you don't look crazy. And then I also do a little bit on my nose. So I just pinch my brush together and I just kind of get the sides. Like so. And then I just take my powder brush and I just kind of blend it. And I do that all over the face so that way it's it like it's blended. I might add just a little bit more. All right, you guys, for blush, we're going to use my Chanel blush. What is this? This is the uh, powder blush in the color Jersey. So that's the color right there. And I'm just going to apply it on the apples of my cheeks. Okay, so for brow, we're using my Anastasia uh, Brow Powder Duo in the color Dark Brown. And that's what it is. I mainly use this color and I'll dip it in the lighter one too. So I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. So that way I could do this easier. But I just like literally just fill them in. I don't do anything too crazy with my eyebrows. I think that's just as good as it's going to get. So I'm going to do the other side. Like I'm literally letting this grow out. Like you can see all of that going on in there. And so basically after I do my eyebrows, I'm just going to put a little bit of the brow gel so that way they stay in place. And I know they're not like perfect, but it's all good. It's not like I'm going anywhere, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to go ahead and put the gel on. So basically after that, I'm just going to do a really, really super, super simple eye. And I've used these colors for years and years because they're just like my favorite. Um, so this is the Bobbi Brown Ivory Eyeshadow. And basically I just like literally apply this everywhere. I mean, it's my highlight color. It's my all over shade. It's my, it's just everything. It's pretty awesome. So I just apply this all over my eyes. And I'm using a little bit of Bobbi Brown's taupe just on the, basically all over actually. And then I'm using my favorite, favorite NARS eyeshadow of all time. And I know they don't make this anymore, but this is Tan Lines by NARS. And this was like, seriously, my go-to. I am obsessed with this color. And they don't make it anymore, so I was totally bummed. And just to deepen the crease, I'm using Bobbi Brown Mahogany. So I'm just putting a little bit of this like on the outer crease. Just like so. A 
Literally, you guys, I think it's going to rain because there's not one single blue cloud in the sky. It's nuts. I mean, we need the rain, so that's totally okay, but, but it's making me like lazy and tired. <laughs> How many of you guys agree? Like when it's gloomy and like rainy weather, it's like you just want to stay home and cuddle and be underneath the blankets and have like a nice hot warm bowl of soup i do so basically at this point i'm just blending everything i mean blending is key guys like i can blend for days and blend and blend and blend did i mention blend so lastly we're going to line our eyes and this is totally and completely optional, but I've been doing it lately just so that way I could look more awake. Um, and I'm just using a MAC brush. This is the 211 uh, brush. Okay, so actually I'm going to do this off of camera. I'm going to do my eyeliner and my mascara off camera. And if you guys want me to do a separate like eyeliner video or whatever, just let me know in the comments and I'll totally do that for you guys. So I shall be back. Okay, and if you guys are wondering which mascara I used, I used the L'Oreal, um, is this L'Oreal? Voluminous? Yeah, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is like my current favorite mascara. I absolutely love it. Um, I definitely do think it's a dupe for the um, Better Than Sex mascara. So if you guys are, oh my god. If you guys are, Oh my god. <sighs> okay. I almost killed myself with this mascara. Anyways, so if you guys are wondering about it, definitely go try it out. It's super just amazing and it just makes your lashes look fuller and thicker and I feel like it's an exact dupe for the Better Than Sex mascara. So this is a mascara that I used. Um... So my look is pretty much complete. I'm just gonna top it with the Bare Minerals lipstick in the color Boss. This is the lipstick that I got like a couple days ago. And I really like it. It's just really nudie, so it doesn't have a whole lot of color. So. I just like the feel of it. It's super soft and I feel like it's not like tacky or anything like that, like most liquid lipsticks. So I definitely want to try more, more of these. Like I want to get more colors. It's 3.36 and I am going to get ready. Um, I'm going to get to cooking. I'm going to make my stir fry for dinner, like I mentioned. And so I'm going to get started on that. And I am also going to show you guys how I make my vegetable and tofu stir fry. So I'm super excited. So this is another cook with me. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with the cooking. All right guys, so I just finished prepping for my vegetable and tofu stir fry. So basically these are all the ingredients that I will be using today. So let's start off with the tofu. I just used some firm tofu from Sprouts. Um, I will link it below, I threw away the package, but I got it at Sprouts and I just cut it into cubes. Carrots, broccoli, and onions. And then also I'm making some steamed white rice. I'm using the jasmine rice. And I did about three cups into my uh, rice cooker. Okay, and these are the additional ingredients that I'm using. I'm using some pepper, some salt, and this is the stir fry sauce that I use. It's the Chinese stir fry sauce. I don't know if it's not focusing. There we go. Chinese stir fry sauce by Kaime. And I got this from Sprouts. I'm using two. And then I'm using the extra virgin olive oil by Bertoli. And we're using a little bit of butter. And I use the Lando Lakes butter. So, the first thing we're gonna do is fry up the tofu. 
All right guys, so frying a tofu is completely optional. You don't have to fry your tofu. I typically like mine's fried. So what we're just gonna do is we're gonna fry it in my wok and then until it's like nice and crisp, like not crispy, but like brown. And then we're gonna toss everything together and create our stir fry. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna take the fried tofu out of the pan and then and set it aside. And then after that, I'm gonna put all of my veggies in the wok. So yeah, that's what the tofu looks like. Okay, so add your olive oil and start sauteing your onions. Add your carrots. Add in your broccoli. And add in your salt and pepper and some butter for flavor. And then stir this all about. Okay, and then add in your sauce. Okay guys, so basically I added in the tofu that I put aside and then the second um, batch of the sauce. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and just continue to stir it around. And that's pretty much it, you guys. That is my vegetable and tofu stir fry. All right guys, so this is the final, final look of my vegetable and tofu stir fry. This is it with the steamed rice. And yeah, I am so excited to eat this because I'm starving. I hope you guys enjoyed my little cook with me. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna eat this really quick and enjoy my dinner and I shall be back. All right guys, so I basically finished eating my dinner and I cleaned my kitchen. So if you hear the dishwasher in the background, I am washing the dishes, so sorry. Um, anyways, yeah, so I think for the rest of the evening, I'm just going to chill out, watch a little Netflix, um, and that's pretty much it for today. So here's this little one. Anyways, so I'm gonna close out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed two days vlog. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to click that bell for notifications. And I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.